Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays VVV VVV. Again, featuring Skiz. So we've got one last crew member to rescue. We are looking for Professor Vitillary. And it looks like there's one major place in the middle of the map that we haven't gotten to yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at this point, we've about covered uh, most of the map here, and we just have to jump right into the last zone. Mm hmm. We've actually already, we've actually already uh, encountered a little bit of its opening. Okay, that's not quite where I need to be, but it's close. There it is. Yeah, once the once the rooms start having names again. Yep, outer hall. Mm -hmm. Also, in case it wasn't obvious, not only do all of the characters here have V names. Oh, conveyor belts. All of those names are references to colors. Mm hmm Oh yeah, I thought that was clear earlier, but I guess we didn't draw much attention to it. Also, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, go back. Going back. Yeah, yeah, the, you missed the thing for the trinket. Ah. Go back to the checkpoint was the easiest way to do this. It says the high road's low. Well, that's a way to go back to the checkpoint. Well, it is. But what do you think that means? Yeah. A little faster. Yeah. Actually, that one won't kill me. <laughs> oh, you can I knock can them out of sync. I rhythm. Ooh. I'm not sure that helps you. <laughs> ah. Also, this is the first attempt of dusting out the game, so maybe some adjustment. There we go. There you are. 15 out of 20 shiny trinkets. Yeah. It's more like you have to pay attention to the fact that that trinket is there uh, when you're coming up. Yeah, so you were here. So I was. Yeah, why are you backtracking? Because sometimes I am very silly, apparently. Yeah, so the whole point is, you if you try to get at the trinket from this side, you'd have to hit the spikes. Mm -hmm. So the only way you could obtain it was the one you were doing. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> that was some timing. Also, this is sort of the... Oh, nuts, I forgot that. Yeah, this is the zone of the game that's filled with a bunch of words and conveyors. Also a pretty cool sound. Uh, pretty cool song. Yes. Select track. I don't remember if one is particularly better than the other. Um, I don't think it ends up mattering, at least trinket-wise. But Wait. they're just different challenges. So this one's faster, but then you gotta dodge these skeleton dudes. Yep. Also, are those supposed to be skeletons similar to uh, Indian Last Crusade? How do you mean Indian the Last Crusade? Look at the title of the room. You chose poorly. Right, it's a reference to that movie. So it is. Yeah. Ah. So I don't think that top area has trinkets. But you do have to get on the bottom side of that moving platform now. Yes. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to do this. You wait till it gets to its high point. <laughs> Remember, you're on the fast conveyor. Psh. Yeah, more like that. Starting to wish I'd chosen the other path now. You could, it's just really slow to backtrack. Because you'd be fighting the conveyors. Yep. Yeah, admittedly, I forgot that the ending of this was as hard as it was. Like, the tower has some obnoxious parts. I it think this really is, does. I think, though, this is lit. I think this is the hardest zone of the game. And not just because it includes two of the hardest trinkets to... That's mostly why, but even then, with stuff like this, conveyors give you weird momentum. Ah, I got it! There. So if we want to check out what that top thing is, we can we can actually backtrack to that and die before hitting a checkpoint. Mm-hmm. I think I'm good. Yeah, but weren't we going to look for trinkets? Oh, is there a trinket in there? I don't know, but it, we might as well show it for the sake of completion and stuff. You see, like, oh, well... I don't think that's how we There's the trinket. S on the left. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. That was foolish. Ah! Yeah, 
you don't have to flip off it right away. Yeah. Okay, getting there, kinda. Yeah. If you do touch the low platform, it you'll stick to it. You don't have to, like, press the buttons. <laughs> well, that's a way to do that. Mm-hmm. So... Okay, we have confirmed that if we had taken the other path, we would have just hit a different checkpoint. Right. Yeah, so I don't know which whether we actually took the easier or the harder path. Okay. If I'm surprisingly bad at this section, I'm going to blame having practiced Hollow Knight lately and not being used to the slipperiness of these controls anymore. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Not that I'm particularly good at Hollow Knight. Also, remember, you don't have to run along the moving platforms. Right. I just. Sometimes it's easy to keep the motion depressed while I'm fighting the conveyor. Right, but that's what parts makes this tricky, is coming yeah. off the direction to... Ah! Almost had it! Yeah. See, you can wait on those platforms once you reach them. Yes. <laughs> no! There Watching gamers yell at their games is still a popular Oh, genre, right? that was close. That was close. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Gordian Nod is one of the nas is one of the potentially nastier uh, trinkets. Okay, so it's basically diagonal, diagonal, right? No, it's not diagonals. You have okay. to you have to go across the top, and then you're gonna come back a different way through the bottom. Okay. So we're just gonna get across this room through the top side. Okay. Not quite like that. Yeah, you can hang out there for a bit. Yeah, with better timing for the dismount. There you go. Now, you have to get on the underside and through those garbage thingies. Aha! Whatever the heck they are. And unfortunately, you're fighting the conveyor to do this, so the timing's annoying. I remember this now. Folks, we're not quite at the point where I insist that Skiz take the controls, but I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you have to get through three of them, so it's like, uh. One of the other gamers I follow on YouTube had a hard time with this room as well. Mm hmm Yeah, like, even just getting set up on the conveyor first before the first one. Yeah. Like, if you can find a way to sort of hang steady before the first one. Oh, trinkets, why do we covet you so? Hmm. Well, they're shiny trinkets, like, very deliberately as yes. stated in the game lore. Ah. Aww. Actually, come to think of it, don't even bother to fight the conveyor for the first one. See if you can just flip into its area as it's going down. Yeah, that's what I hit on. Yeah. <sighs> I should have thought of that when I was doing this before. Hmm. That was closer, though. But yeah, I like that strategy for the first one, where you stay on the conveyor for less. Ha-ha! Good, 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 good. Uh, take that easy. Yes! Jeez, you... You barely saved it on both ends of the Gordian Knot. Mm. Okay. But yeah, you can, in fact, hang out just a little bit on that lip. No! Okay. That's okay. That's a, that's a very mild no. <laughs> Physics games are hard. Well... 
you want the extreme physics games, there's Quop, and there's Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Also, uh, Jump King. Jump King? Yeah. You can literally only jump. And, uh, you can fall down as far as you need, as far as necessary to lose a bunch of progress. Hmm. But yay, we got that. Problem is, we do have to work our way backwards. Yes. And now this is actually easier because it's the fast direction of the conveyor. Indeed it is. We've had truth. Now lies. Nice. See, truth is inconvenient once, but lies just keep getting you. Truth could have been nastier. Uh, could have, could have been nastier earlier. Maybe you were better at handling the truth. The solution is dilution. There are some speedrun skips. I don't quite understand how they work. Where they manage to miss cycles of these clouds, compared to uh, what we're probably going to do is the intended solution. Because you do, you do rise fast enough that if you didn't take these breaks, you'd land in another cloud before hitting the next nook. There we go. Mm. Yep. Actually gives you a teleporter midway through, probably as an acknowledgement for how nasty it is. <laughs> There's also oh, a... hey, it's Vermillion. <laughs> hey, Captain. I found something interesting around here. The same warp signature I saw when I landed. Someone from the ship must be nearby. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, the more the more guys you save, uh -huh. uh, the more they just end up appearing in other zones of the game sometimes. This is true. Particularly from Vermilion. I've seen him in a couple different spots in my playthroughs. And Vermilion seems to be a little less scared of this world. Yeah, he he's like... I don't know, security chief, adventure guy, something like that. I mean, didn't we send him into the Gravitron and he went, Wee! Yes. <laughs> yeah. I do terminals. Everything collapses, eventually. It's the way of the universe. Hmm. Uh, fair enough. Also, I have no idea why the hangman reversed is here. You die if you touch it. I don't think you can interact with it yeah. in any meaningful way. Yeah, this blue circle is not friendly. Oh, by the way, Sorrow, <laughs> we have seen that a long time ago. Yes. This is part of the Space Station 1 that we've already been through at the beginning of the game. Yes, so we have been in that top region. Also, Dooms is just swoop reversed. Yeah, but yeah, maybe we'd be a little careful to close out some map. Well, there's... I think, I think we do want to keep going down yes, and left Yes, we do want to go downward. Down and left sounds about right. Down and left, I said. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so if we so this is this is the way to a trinket. Alrighty. This this one I actually find pretty fun, even if it takes a few getting. Ah. Sometimes I find the flow. Yep. There you go. Yay. And now you can just work your way out by sidling up through the lies. Chinese rooms? I would still hit that checkpoint. Because now you gotta get out again. Ha! Huh. What lies beneath? Let's find out. Well, that's not beneath. What lies beneath? Spike Spikes do! How low is that one? If you fall up. Okay. <laughs> I love that. What lies beneath? Spikes do! Yep. Also, more lies. Yeah, so I think we're good as far as map coverage goes at this point. Um, there was a secondary path, but I think you do want to explore there, if nothing else, to get the Clarion Call Trinket. What is the timing even on this? Uh, 
I think you want to proceed a little before the lies go into your fall path. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, but you're just moving too much for that. Why don't you go on the ceiling? Okay. And then just fall straight down. That makes even more sense. Ah! Checkpoint hit! Oh no! Lies hit! Flies detected! Mm -hmm. I was going to say, timing shouldn't be so bad because you flipped to the ceiling super quick. There we go. There we go. I like that there was a lies receptor on the other side. Indeed. Ah, th here's a continuation from another screen. If you fall up, just pick yourself down. <laughs> yeah, this is a cute little puzzle. That was it, you just missed on the fly up. Got it. Pfft, yeah, you're going a little bit late. <laughs> that time when you're thinking only one move ahead. Seeing dollar signs. Oh yeah, this one can be annoying because of conveyors. Yeah. Oi. I'd go from floor and then flip up into conveyor. Yeah. And then probably same gimmick again. Yeah. Oh, it's not so bad. No. So many checkpoints. The, the warning. Oh. Yeah, so this, this spot. Getting here is half the fun. So I didn't pay attention, I forgot to pay attention to how deep into the recording of this episode we are, because this could take a while if we're going to attempt this. Yes. Let's at least show you what's up here. This is, this one is absolutely notorious. This is the hardest trinket in the game. You see how many screens there are? Yep. Doing things the hard way, also known as Veni Vidi Vici. Mm-hmm. Ha, nobody will ever get this one. <laughs> So, yeah, if you couldn't figure this out, that yeah. little that little block right there uh -huh. prevents you from just walking over. Yep. You have to sail your way all the way up carefully through spikes, hit one destructible floor thing. And then all the way back down through spikes. And make sure to come down the other side of the little block. I have gotten this, and uh, I think the control will go to me if, if we do end up getting this. But the very first time I ever did it, it took me about 40 minutes of attempts. And the second time took me about 20. So if we presume that this is exponential, I'll take 10 minutes on the last attempt. Oh, I got to the second screen. Yeah. No. You do get the hang of certain motions and just getting it repetitive. That was good. Yeah, that was. It's still Sally Cat playing, by the way. Yep. Now, we will let you know if we actually uh, switch controllers. Yeah. Problem is, it can also be finicky, where, like, sometimes you feel like you've got the, se the sense of a room, and then you sort of lose the muscle sense on it. Yeah. Or you're trying to think a little too far ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think I typically started right next to the block, so I could take a slightly earlier and shallower approach in. Hmm. Yeah, it felt more natural to me to start earlier. I see. But, you know, teach yeah, their own. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I think we're going to have to devote this trinket to its own separate episode. Hmm. I mean, we can certainly record a bunch, but we're not going to subject y'all, I think, to every attempt on this. No. 
It's it's not like we would have that much in the way of amusing commentary as we go. I would kind of like to get just a bit farther. Mm -hmm. Oh, I panicked. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that death plenty of times in uh, easy mode unlocked. Now, for the record, when you do finish the game, the game reads off a bunch of statistics for you, mm -hmm. and one of them is the room you died in the most. And it's usually one of these three. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's one of those three, but it's it's always been part of this shaft for me. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit fed up. Shall we move on to different parts of the game? I'd like a couple shots of this. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I have usually played this game with a keyboard and or with a controller and not with a keyboard. So just getting a little used to the how much responsiveness there is here. Mm -hmm. And also just getting used to looking at Sally Cat's monitor and how far from me it is. Also, do you want my chair? Not yet. I've been off on like a little cushion for most of this recording. Okay, a little overdone with Vici. Okay, I'm... Nice. That was better than I expected for this early. But yeah, right now, things feel slipperier than I remember. Okay, I actually undersold myself on, Vici on Vidi. We'll give it a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting super worried in the one vertical shaft that uh, I start pressing late coming out of it. You got to celebrate the small imp the small improvements, though. Mm -hmm. It does give you one of the more amazing songs in the soundtrack to work through as you do it. It's a song that'll get you pumped up. Oh, so that's the halfway mark. Mm -hmm. The point where you turn around. I'm actually surprised I got the second to last screen on the first try on it. You're okay. doing consistently better than I would at this point. I still remember some of the muscle memory of just pulling off these mechanics. Ooh. Yeah, that turnaround is also yeah, a surprisingly that was hard part. Because you have to. Avoid that right-hand shaft. That only leads to death. Correct. Yeah, so it's it's easy to feel like you're overcorrecting. Shh. That's exactly what happened. I thought I was overdoing things and chilled out a bit and didn't quite make enough on that platform. Mm -hmm. This is going better than I thought it would be for this amount of time, though. We may edit some of this out. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Again, I overdid it. I don't have to move all that far in that room. Oh! Over, over swung, but I got in the correct shaft. Okay, started that too early. Oh, just, I got in there, but was not quite in the right spot. Let's play V6. Let's suffer through this trinket. Yeah. Hopefully we've done enough to convince you this is the nastiest trinket in the game. I feel like that room title, Your Bitter Tears Delicious, is probably accurate. Hmm. I'm not sure that that room specifically is the one I'm more bitter about. Eh, applying it to the shaft as a whole. <laughs> okay. I was in a good place, but the problem is that gives me no reaction time to hit left at the right spot. So I think I want to be a little more rightward just to have a better angle into it. Like that, except mm. I overdid it. 
but that was the correct approach in. Mm -hmm. You see, at this point, I'm not dying nearly as many times to the first room, though. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh! oh. <sighs> that should have died earlier. I'm gonna get it soon. I fig I figured out what to do on the reverse shift. I just gotta get there. No, I did it again in there. It's like I don't know where the block is. Mm -hmm. Update, we are getting pretty close. Yeah. I think that block is just a tiny bit to the right of center in that shaft. Hmm. Yeah, I've made it almost all the way back and died on the last room in reverse. If you manage to land on top of the block, we'll call it a power move. It is possible. Feeling pretty good about these last few. It's hard to describe. Okay, that was bad. That was full of overcorrections and almost worked. <laughs> Haven't been doing that so much lately. Or that. So many close calls. I knew it wasn't going to work. What? Almost got that shaft. Get, this also just gets finicky, like, the difference between a successful attempt and an unsuccessful is very small. That was, that was not good. <clears throat> Closer, but not the consistency I wanted. Here we go. No! Again! Why did it have to be that one area? Oh, 
Oh, Boom. Oh <laughs> Sorry if that was a little too loud, but there we go. I don't know how much of that we're editing out. <laughs> also, at one point, Sally Cat did say, power move, land on the block. I did. I landed on the block. <laughs> Good job, sweetie. It just felt safer than anything else, honestly. Uh, do we want to just call the episode here and I'll pick up next time? Uh, perhaps. Let's at least let's at least make sure I get back to the checkpoint and possibly the teleporter. Right. So yeah, that's the worst one. And for the record, it took me probably about 25 to 30 minutes of attempts on this. I feel like it's theoretically possible for me to get that trinket, but Skiz just has more of the kind of gamer patience and reaction time that is needed here. So yeah. Whew, that felt good to finally get through. <laughs> there were so many close calls, though. There were like four times I died back in doing things the hardest way, but on the spike walls on the other right. side. Ugh. Once I finally figured out one or two tricks, it, it did it. There we go. Yeah, this might be a good place to call okay. it. We are um, actually pretty close to a teleporter here. We are. Yeah, we could just go back and visit it. Uh, no, we're not. Are not, because it's in the other section of the Yeah, place. that's where we were in the beginning of the game. Um, hmm, yeah. We can just hit save, I think, and doesn't it bring us back to a checkpoint? Well, it'll hmm. reload us at the, at the nearest, at the, the last teleporter. Um, the teleporter's a bit of a ways back at this stage. Granted, we don't have to include all of the backtracking in, uh, final, e final episode. Okay. All right, well, I think we're going to move this to save, and it'll... And that'll make sure... Absolutely certain. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Now it's saved with the right number of trinkets. All right. So, we've got two trinkets and one crew member left to find. Yep. So, we'll continue on with this station, and till then, take care, everybody. This has been Skiz, closing <laughs> out the gameplay. Have a good one, everybody.